beautiful people and welcome back so for today's video we are going to be starting off with a bare face and that is because if you read the title of this video we are going to do a full face using only elf products i think out of all of like like a makeup routine i think i only didn't use two elf products which i will explain in the video but everything else is elf has to do with elf everything like i'm going to do my same makeup routine um, obviously, but I am going to be using different products. So if you do want to see what kind of products I did pick up and the look that we create using all e.l.f. products, then you know what to do and continue watching. But before you do so, don't forget to click that like button if you do enjoy the end of the video and that red button to subscribe to my channel if you guys are not already. So let's get right on into the video. Alright, so for primer, I had um, I had bought two because I actually want to try both of them out. And I actually first seen these on Manny MUA's YouTube channel. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is. He's a really big YouTuber. Um, and he tried, I wanted, I don't know if he tried both of them um, or one or the other, but I decided to get both. So I did pick up the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It looks like this. And then I did pick up the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. Same thing, um, same packaging. Obviously, just one is matte and one is for your pores. Um, I want to say that the poreless one is, the, is like a mimic for the Tatcha um, Canvas Silk, or I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's like for a Tatcha one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both. So the way that I'm gonna use it is I'm gonna use the poreless one, obviously where I have my pores, which is just right in this area, and then the matte one all over my face because I do prefer a matte base. So I'm gonna go ahead and take about, about that much. The texture of it, it was kind of thick, but I did like, put a lot of pressure and it did pick up some of this product so I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that into where I have my biggest pores which is around this area well that is kind of soaking in and now I'm gonna go into my matte one same thing you kind of have to like apply a little bit of pressure the only thing with this one is I did test it out on my hand a little bit and it did look like it gave me my like wherever I applied it like a white cast which I hope it doesn't do that to my face, but I am just gonna apply it everywhere else. So I think when primers have a thicker consistency, I feel like it is gonna do a better job at having your foundation stick, just because I can tell with this certain consistency that it's gonna get like really, really tacky since it is like a little bit on the thicker side. But now that I do have it on my face, I don't see a white cast, which is a good thing because I didn't want it to be too, too, like, white when I apply my foundation on okay. So the foundations that I did pick up are the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. So it claims that it is, where is the bag? Oil Free Set and Finish. And that is all it says. So the two shades that I did get was vanilla and linen. Vanilla is light with golden undertones and linen is medium with golden undertones. Um, so obviously they are two completely different shades as you guys can see. So obviously this one is vanilla, this one is linen. Um, I did put them on my hand and the funny thing is, is it says oil free but if I'm being completely honest, when I open the packaging, you can even still see, uh, the camera's probably not going to pick it up. But when I first applied, opened it, and even now, it has a lot of oil coming out of the foundation. I'm not sure if I got, like, um, two messed up ones or whatever the case is. But they do have a lot of oil. And even when I applied it to my hand, just to see how the colors were, like, around where the foundation was, was oil. Like, a lot, a lot of oil. So, obviously, vanilla is too light. And linen, I want to see if it's going to be too dark. I'm going to swatch linen again by itself because I am obviously a little bit darker because I've been you know by the pool Oops. so that's linen right there I don't want to apply it all over my face and it be too dark actually I think I can get away with using just linen just because I don't want it to be too too light because we are going to obviously like highlight and contour so I'm sort of going with linen actually now that I'm looking at it with my color I feel like I could either go a shade darker just again because I have been like tanning a little bit like sun tan so I'm gonna go ahead and take one and a half pumps I did shake it up a little bit so you can't see much of the oil anymore but like around where that foundation was when I had first applied it was a lot a lot of um, oil so because I did pick up a lot of products they did send me like um, 
a free item and that was their sponge which is a good thing because I did want to try it out so they went ahead and I, they sent it to me and this one is a lot bigger um, than like the beauty blender when it is wet I did dampen it just because I prefer it dampened so I'm going to go ahead and take that And it just say that you can layer it if you need more coverage, but, oh yeah, I think I can go like a shade or two darker. It has like, I don't know if it's the, the sponge that smells or the foundation, but I smell, I smell a certain fragrance that I can't put my tongue on it. Oh yeah, that's going to be super light. I know a lot of people like applying their their foundation with the brush because they say that the brush gives off you know more coverage and it doesn't take so much of the product but I don't know I never really liked applying my foundation with a brush I prefer the beauty blender a hundred times more so for the concealer I did apply two I did get two shades but the um, concealer that we are going to be using is the elf hydrating camo concealer this one is a set and finish again I've heard many many things about this concealer I heard it was really really good so I did pick up the shade light beige and light sand light sand is more like of a peachy pink undertone and light beige is more like of a golden undertone which I love so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that underneath my eyes here and then down my nose okay so just like that and then taking again I am so sorry I got a phone call and I needed to answer, but I went ahead and I blended this side out already and I did set it already. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this side out already. So the consistency of this, oh, I think it dried on me. I'm going to apply a little bit more, I think because I had powder under on the, on the brush. Sorry, on the sponge I'm gonna use the other side so I would say that this concealer is like a medium to fuller coverage you can definitely definitely build this concealer up and setting it with the setting powder it actually set really really good so I did mention in the beginning that there was two products that I didn't purchase and then I wasn't going to use that was elf and that is the setting powder just because on old side couldn't find like a loose setting kind of translucent powder for my under eyes so the one that I'm going to be using is the Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade honey and I obviously just apply that right underneath my eyes because I did find like a pressed powder that I do want to try using all over my face I'm going to get this one and this one is the elf pressed powder and this is in the shade light medium it looks like this so I'm gonna take that on a just big foundation brush this one is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH01 brush looks like this so I'm gonna take that start to so I haven't noticed in person honestly the foundation the color doesn't look too too bad but on camera it is picking it up like it's really really light it could be because of my cat my my lights i do have like the white light so it could be because of that but in person it doesn't look too too bad but obviously it is a little bit lighter and i would have to go up a shade or even two so now moving on to bronzer i did pick up the elf i think it's the primer infused or infused primer Sorry, the infused um, bronzers. I did get two shades. I did get Forever Sun Kissed and Perpetually Tan. So, Perpetually Tan is obviously more tan. I think I'm going to use probably both. Forever Sun Kissed is honestly, like this is Forever Sun Kissed and this is Perpetually Tan. So, obviously, you can see this one is much deeper. So, I probably will bronze with this one and contour with this one. Again, just to give my skin a lot more color. So, I think what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to bronze with this one. And this one is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH13. So I'm going to bronze with Forever Sunkiss because it is a more fluffier brush. And I want to get like an overall kind of bronzer. And then when I go in and contour, then I'll go in with a more precise brush. So now that I, I am applying it, it does, I'm going to stop right there just because I don't like how it's applying. It looks really muddy. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? I'm going to try to go in with Perpetually Tan. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But this one does look like it is going to give me a little bit more color. This one looks really, really like gray. I don't know why. Hopefully I can fix this. The next thing we're going to apply is a blush. And again, this one is the e.l.f. infused blush. And this one is in the shade Always Rosy. It looks like this. It's like a mauve kind of pink. So I'm going to take that on this Morphe E3 brush. So it's very subtle. But I do like it because you obviously can blend it up. It's better to, you know, apply more of the shade then apply too much and not be able to take it off and i'm gonna take this elf baked highlighter in the shade moonlight pearls it's like a kind of white frosty it looks like it has a little bit of pink in it so i'm gonna take that and apply that let's see what this highlighter is all about okay so it's not too too blinding like you can see it, but it isn't too, too crazy. Which could be a good thing if you want more like a, just of a, you know, natural kind of highlight. Yes, that is pretty much it for the face. So, so far, I'm um, getting up close. Again, the foundation does look really good. Um, if I wouldn't have waited to like blend this side and set this side, um, I think it would have been pretty good. But it, you can't really tell the difference. The only thing that I haven't liked so far was that forever sun kissed bronzer it is really light so i think this is going to be better for more lighter skin tones just because it looks like it has like a gray ashy tone to it and i did not like that but so far the skin is looking good so now moving on to brows i did pick up this elf instant lift brow pencil so it does come with a spoolie on one side and then it does come with a little obviously color pencil on one side so again, you guys know, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just do one brow on camera and then I'll go ahead and do the other one off of camera. So this one is in the shade. I think I've got medium brown. So I'm going to roll it out just a little bit. So that's how the pencil looks. I haven't used a pencil on my eyebrows in a really long time. So right away, the pigment is there. But... I'm pretty sure if I press down on it a little bit more, it's going to be a little bit darker. But this doesn't look like a medium brown shade. It could be a little bit darker. Okay, we're getting some color now. It does feel like a little bit tacky, but it can be because I already have my base done. So now I'm just going to pretty much just fill in my brow and then when I get to the front I'm gonna do little hair like strokes so I'm gonna take a little bit of the light beige concealer I'm just gonna apply some to the back of my hand and I'm gonna use a flat synthetic brush just to clean up my brow So the product isn't too too bad obviously it's not it's not what i'm used to i'm used to like either gel as you guys know now i'm using gel again um i'm not even sure if i've mentioned that but i am i did go back to my anastasia dip brow and honestly ugh, that product is so amazing i haven't used a pencil in a long time the only pencil that i did use when i was using it was the anastasia one the pencil on this is a little bit thicker but 
Again, it doesn't look like a medium brown shade. It looks more like of a chocolate kind of color. Obviously, you can build it up applying more, but I don't want my brows to feel too, too thick. Um, but obviously, this is what the brows are coming out to look like. I'm going to do the other brow off of camera, and then I will be back, and then we will move on to the eyes and then finish off with the lips. Okay, so I went ahead and I did the best I could with my eyebrows, and honestly, this product is enough for me. When I opened it, it's literally like falling out, and it just didn't apply good at all whatsoever. Um, I don't know if the other eyebrow pencils are a little bit better, but this one is a definite no for me. So now I did take the rest of the concealer that I had to use to clean up my brows, um, and I'm just applying that to my eyelids, getting it ready for the eyeshadow. So the palette that I picked up is Elf, the new classics. And it looks like this. So I think I'm going to do like a coppery kind of eye look today. I'm going to take my Morphe E27 brush and I'm going to start with the shade Darling. So I'm going to take that. It does have a lot of fallout on the pan. The pigment, pretty good. So I am just building it up as much as I can just to get it to like the desired intensity that I want. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush but just like a smaller pointed one. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH31 brush. And then I'm going to go into the shade Earth which is like a brown kind of color. So the shadows are pigmented. Not super, super pigmented as my other palettes that I do have, but they are working out for me. I'm not going to go into any more of that earth shade just because it did already give me a lot of depth to the look. And I don't want to take away from like that coppery kind of rustic color that we did put down. But I do want to intensify the outer corner just a little bit more. So I think I'm going to use Noir, which is the black. And I'm going to apply that with this Jeffree Star Morphe brush in JS6. So I'm going to take some of that and just apply some mainly on my eyelid. Just jug it out a little bit. I'm not going to do like a cut crease or anything, but I'm going to go in with a synthetic brush. And I'm going to take this Makeup Shack T41 brush and apply that shade Rose Gold. It says Rose Gold, but it's really not like a Rose Gold. It's more like of a coppery color. So with the brush, I actually did pick up a lot of product. I'm pretty sure if I were to pick it up with my finger or even wet the brush, it'd like pick up a lot more product. But I am satisfied with how it, you know, how it's blending out with just the brush. So just like that. Again, I'm gonna do the other eye off of camera, and then the second product that I didn't have that was Elf was lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my lashes off of camera, and then I'll be back to finish off. The look with okay, so I went ahead and I finished off the eyes off of camera, and I did say that I was going to apply my lashes off of camera, but I forgot that I did get a mascara, so I did get the e.l.f. smudge proof mascara, so it does come um, like this, so this is for your upper lashes and your lower lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I've actually been looking for a really good lower lash mascara, just because my lashes are really, really small i feel like they're a decent length but i feel like they're small so i need a really really small brush to really get in there oh my god this one is super tiny oh my word just like that and i totally forgot that i did get this liquid eyeshadow from elf this is in the shade flirty birdie it's like a coppery kind of color, so I'm going to apply that just on top of here. Nothing too, too crazy. 
crazy crazy so then now to finish off the look i'm going to take this elf satin cream lip this in no, a satin lip in the shade cream it's like a pinky kind of color just like that i didn't know what look to do but i figured you couldn't go wrong with a nude lip so this one is like way too pink for me. You guys know that I would never use a color just like this. Sorry, this lash is bugging me. And this one is their e.l.f. Lip Pumping Gloss in Peach Bellamy. We are now completed with the entire look. So obviously this is what the look came out to look like. In camera and in person kind of far it doesn't look too bad if I'm being completely honest however my final thoughts is when I do get up close I do see that the foundation is like breaking a little bit on my nose and my chin and I do set my hand on my like on my face when I do my brows so when I was doing this brow off of camera I did notice that my skin feels like really like tacky and sticky and for sure it will transfer even just doing this like it like gets stuck to my to my the palm of my hand and stuff um as far as the like the complexion it doesn't look too bad i just don't like that feeling maybe if i were to go in and set my entire face with the laura mercier um powder it wouldn't feel that way again i feel like the foundation did oxidize just a little bit i can tell underneath my eyes it does look a little bit lighter still um as far as the bronzer the the bronzer the sun kiss one was a was a no-go for me i would not ever buy that again and i would not ever try that again um but the shade that i did use um i did like it but i feel like it is a little bit too warm um i feel like it is really really warm on my cheek area my forehead you really can't tell but i feel like on the cheek area it does look really really warm the blush was a really good blush i liked it the highlighter i don't think i would purchase it again or i would use it again just because i did have to go in several times to really get like that nice like wet looking kind of highlight and even then it's not super super blending like my other um highlighters as far as the brow pencil it is a no for me i would not ever use this again i'll either give it to somebody or i'll just toss it to be quite honest because i did not like it whatsoever the eyeshadow palette it is really good um i wouldn't really use these colors like for me so i think i'm gonna actually give this one to my mom just because i know my mom does this is like a really neutral like kind of like starter kind of palette so i think i will give this one to my mom um the lipstick I haven't tried any of the other lipsticks, but as far as the shade, I did not like it. Consistency, it was okay. Um, the plumping gloss, I'm guessing, obviously, it's like the Too Faced lip injection ones, which I do feel it like tingling just a little bit. Um, but I have to give this one another try. I actually do like the color of it because it's nude, and you guys know I like nude. Um, but that is pretty much it for this entire full face of e.l.f. products. If you guys did enjoy, again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys are not already. And that is all I have to say, and I will see you guys on the next one.